Hey guys, so today I want to talk about what is this that we live in, this reality that we live in. And it was explained to me by a channeling by Octavia Vasili with the Ninth Dimensional Pleiadian Collective that what this is, what we live in, is a hologram that is projected from our mind. What does that mean? It means that we are um, projecting everything that happens to us. Uh, it, even, even the behavior of other people. So after you listen to the video on the soul family, you realize that these soul families they're there to teach each other lessons and to know what it's like to feel whatever experience it is they came to want to feel and know and learn from. So usually those that hurt you are those that are closest to you and that are part of that soul family because they're here to, um, they agreed to be the ones to teach you whatever lesson it is you wanted to learn, whether it was a compassion lesson or whatever other lesson to love unconditionally, whatever that the lesson is. So what I wanted to explain is the way that I, my theory, my opinion, you don't have to take it, you don't have to agree with it, but this is what I explain to my clients and it makes sense to them and it helps them. So I figure I would let you know what that is. So basically, it, this is a video game. Right, and in this video game, um, what you see in front of you is what you is reflecting what you give it. So if you're in front of a mirror and you smile, the mirror gives you back a smile. If you give the mirror sadness, the mirror gives you sadness. So what you want to do is not stop being sad, right? Because that's why we came to be human to learn what it is to be sad. So we want to be sad, feel the sadness, and then let it go, right? Um, just know that vibrationally, that video game is just matching your vibration. That's all that it, it is doing. So if you believe that somebody is difficult at work, the person will continue to be difficult because the mirror is just reflecting back your expectation of that person. It goes the same with every other human being out there. So if you are having a hard time at work and you hate your job, guess what? The universe is going to give you more of that. It's going to give you more reasons to hate your job because that's what you feel. That's what you're putting out there. So that that's kind of how this works. Now, if you realize that this is your reality and your you're in complete control of it. So start understanding and looking around to see what lessons you're being taught that you're not learning. And if somebody is an asshole to me, for example, I will self-reflect. I won't get mad at the person. I will be startled, yes, but I will reflect back to myself and say, what did I, why did I manifest that? And then it can either be that I had a low vibration or it could be that my expectation of that person was that they're an asshole. And I to put this to the test, guys. I, I actually did a test with one of my managers in my last corporate job. I She hated me. I know she hated me. I could feel it. And one day I said, I'm going to test this out. I closed my eyes. And I said, okay, I imagine hugging her and I imagine her being really sweet to me. And I said, she's the sweetest person on earth. And I kind of changed my expectation of her. And the next time I saw her, she was completely different. Did she hug me? No, but was she different? Yes, she treated me completely different. So I know this is possible. Now, there is exceptions to this rule, right? If you have family, there could be a lesson that they're trying to teach you. So no matter what you try to do to change that expectation, 
it's not going to matter because if you don't learn the lesson, then they're going to keep doing what they're doing to you, whether it's abusing you verbally, mentally, or um, whether it's making you feel like the black sheep of the family. I hear a lot about that from my clients. They feel like they're different from their family, that they're always the black sheep. You're not alone. There's, these are lessons that we all decided to come learn, I guess. And then um, you're probably wondering about the, the fact that we're going through kind of like the, the end of the world as we know it, right? So how does that come into play? Well, in my theory, in this video game, you pulled out the video game that says end of the world as we know it. So it's the underlying game that you're playing, right? The collective consciousness game that you're playing. And now you've added lessons on top of that to learn with your family and your soul pod and all those. So it's kind of a combination of both. Um, again, it's my theory, uh, but it works really well for me. And, um, and you know, when I tell you that you're the creator, you're the one projecting everything, every reality, this reality from your mind, that gives you back your power. That, that gives everything back to you so that you take that power. And now you realize that fear is an illusion, that lack is an illusion. All of those are illusions in this game that we came to learn to play, to get ourselves out of them, to realize that we are one and that we are all together helping each other in this video game. So um, I hope that this helps you understand a little bit more. And again, if it resonates, great. And if it doesn't resonate, delete the video, trash it. Um, but since it helps me, I figure it might help you. I love you.